you know, two months back, when my colleagues told me about hackathon, I asked them, what is it? What does it mean? I never heard of hackathon, to be very, very frank. So you can guess my age. Um, but now I get it. I, in the past two months, uh, my colleagues have been uh, keeping me informed of the progress that you guys have made in the last two months. And we just saw on the screen, uh, some of you were pretty much dropping dead, uh, starvation without sleep, uh, and really hard work. And I also did some of my own research, and so I really get it. And thank you very much for sharing all those wonderful examples that of uh, innovations. Um, because it's very clear to me now that uh, technology is the future for solving the development problems that we face in this generation, the next generation. The speed has increased, increased so much. Now we are in a lightning speed world. So our solutions cannot be uh, of uh, uh, tortoise speed. We, we have to have much more real-time solutions, much more real-time problem-solving approaches. And I think innovation uh, in the use of technology is the really right way. So I'm so pleased that uh, we have a good sense as UNDP to partner with this wonderful group and wonderful partners like Hatch and NGOs, British Council, and all of you uh, who are in the rooms. And we very much are looking forward to continuing this partnership. Uh, first, for my own selfish reason, because I want to keep up with the times. I want to learn from all of you. But also because, as I said, uh, this is the future. And if we are serious, uh, about uh, meeting the sustainable development goals that your government and other governments have adopted in September in the United Nations General Assembly. The 17 sustainable development goals with the single most important aspiration that nobody is left behind. Also with an aspiration that if we can eradicate poverty, then it is possible to do that in our lifetime. If we can sustain the environment and uh, preserve this planet, then we can do it. We have the knowledge, we have the means. But I uh, strongly believe that uh, while we could achieve the Millennium Development Goals with traditional ways of development approaches, we cannot achieve sustainable development goals without innovations, without thinking out of the box, and without coming together from different uh, uh, spheres of society, from development uh, communities, NGOs, uh, innovators like you. So we all have to come together, and we all have to think out of the box collectively, and we have to use technology for that purpose. So I think uh, this is... Uh, uh, this is really important if we are very serious about uh, that we do not want to leave anyone behind. That means we have to reach every single person uh, with knowledge, with information, with solutions. Uh, but how do we do that? Uh, we, we can't uh, continue to travel uh, by bus and by uh, car or even fly. Even that is now outdated. Now we have to reach in real time with the use of the click on your phone or the click of your computer. This is even more important that uh, we, we, we continue uh, uh, to uh, have more such hackathons uh, which are essentially for social good, for social development. And, uh, but this is only one way, one such way. There are hundreds of ways and I think if you come together to brainstorm you will come with hundreds of ways of uh, reaching uh, people in remote areas, in Haizang, in uh, Sanla, in uh, mountain areas. And this is also important because sustainable development goals will not be achieved just by government. 
they will be achieved only if people participate, only if people engage, only if people have voice. Uh, and I think innovations like, uh, like uh, use of technology, etc., uh, has such tremendous uh, opportunity here. And especially in Vietnam, where there are how many? 43 million. I have a wrong figure here. Uh, when we have nearly 43 million people uh, who use internet, and uh, almost 22 million have smartphones. So uh, this is the best uh, possible way uh, to connect people, to give them voice, to give them uh, means to engage, a way to inform them on new policies that the government come up with, the new programs that government announced, or the new opportunities which are available out there. Because often time, uh, people don't have information, so they, they don't know how to access the opportunity. So this opens a, a huge field uh, in, in terms of connecting people, giving them voice, giving them, empowering them with information and knowledge so that we can seek the opportunities which are available out there. We see a uh, possibility because as um, UN we have a particular interest in uh, basic social services, in governance, in improving public management, uh, etc. And for that again, the voice of people is very important. And I don't know how many of you have heard of PAPI. PAPI stands for Vietnam's Provincial Governance and Public Administration Index. It's one of the, uh, I think, only way, am I right, or very few ways in Vietnam where citizens can provide feedback to public administrators on their perception of the quality of service and their own level of satisfaction uh, with regards to health services, with regards to education, etc., etc. Now, this particular survey is being done every year, uh, uh, reaching about 14,000 uh, to 16,000 people in all the provinces. And in the last survey, the top six most pressing issues that the citizens highlighted were Interestingly, environmental pollution, traffic accidents, food safety, corruption, and healthcare quality. Now, these are the top most priorities citizens see around uh, Vietnam in every single province. Uh, now, the Papi survey is done once a year, as I said. But imagine the possibilities. If we were to combine our uh, traditional survey methodology with an innovation uh, of use of technology where with a click of a smartphone we can get real-time feedback so that we can also monitor the trends. Are the trends changing? Are these the six most priorities forever or do they change? Why do they change? And the possibility of that information for policy makers for public administrators in improving the quality of service, in, in, in reforming the policies more often than just once in 10 or 20 years, but uh, keeping up with people's expectations, keeping up with people's aspirations, and keeping up with the quality of service that uh, satisfies the citizens. So it's immense possibility, and uh, we would very much like to explore how we can uh, introduce some innovation uh, in, in, uh, in, in the puppy survey that is uh, now being done by government uh, with UNDP support, but uh, how, how we can make it more user-friendly, real-time, cost-effective, and connecting the feedback directly and swiftly with policies and programs. So immense, immense, immense possibilities. Uh, and I, I think that uh, platforms such as Hackathon and similar such platforms uh, provide a great opportunity for all of you to come together, put your minds together, uh, to link a problem with a solution, with the use of technology.
So really extremely, extremely excited about the possibilities. Very excited about uh, the possibilities of our own partnership uh, to, uh, to help uh, Vietnam, your country, in uh, becoming one of the top countries in the world, not just because of its wealth but because of its people's wealth, and because people are prospering with the country. There's a difference. The country can prosper, but people can't. But we want to see people prospering with the country. So that it's not just the country which becomes middle income. The people should become middle income as well. So immense, immense, immense possibilities, and I would really very much like to thank all the hackathon teams, the mentors, uh, the jury members, uh, and everybody else who probably brought food for the colleagues, gave a pillow uh, for them to sleep uh, so that they can rest uh, and come up with uh, these innovations. And uh, really looking forward to a very exciting, very exciting partnership and a very exciting time together uh, for Vietnam's prosperity and for the happiness of the people of Vietnam. So thank you very much. Thank you very much.